Good evening, my friends. Well, I've been tagged <laughs> by uh, some YouTube friends called uh, Living Coast to Coast. And I was tagged to do a video. It's kind of a Q&A video. So uh, I got like 15 questions and uh, I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. <laughs> the first question, I, I got the questions. <laughs> I got the questions on my computer here next to me, so uh, that's why if I look to the side, it's to read the, the question. But um, the first question is, what camera do you use? And the camera I use for, well, almost all my videos is my old cell phone. And it's a Huawei uh, something. <laughs> and. Uh, I don't use it as a cell phone anymore because I bought a new one. Um, this one, the, the battery life is not very good anymore. and uh, So I figured I, I need a new one. So um, I had actually planned to use my new phone for camera. But if you notice where the camera is, it's too close to the center. And when I use it on my gimbal, you can see the gimbal in the camera so that's that's not gonna work out another problem is that the the microphone need to plug in at the bottom of the phone and when I use again when I use the gimbal that just doesn't work because the there will be impossible to plug in an external microphone so that is why I'm using the old uh, cell phone still even though the camera is better in the new one. So when I want to use the new one, I have to hold it with my hand, not with the gimbal. Um, and my gimbal is a DJI something, Osmo. And then I attached a lapel microphone with a wind muff. The good thing about the old cell phone is I can plug in the microphone because it's in the top of the cell phone and not and not the bottom. The bottom will be down here, so, you know. But, uh, yeah, I kind of attached the, the cord to the, the, the microphone cord to the gimbal so that it's easier to, to, uh, to use. But, yeah, the gimbal... I would say it's probably the best thing I ever bought when it comes to uh, something to do with with YouTube because that's this gimbal just makes the it's so much more steady and then of course the the lapel microphone so the sound gets better okay the next question what is a um, oh yeah what editing system I use I use Wondershare Filmora um, and it is a paid version of it. I think I paid something like yeah, 500 kroner to, for a lifetime use of, of this program. It is, well, you can get editing programs that are way, probably way better and way more, uh, more complex. But that was exactly my point. I didn't want something very complex, very complicated, because I want it to be easy to use. And of course, that means there are some functions that I don't have in that program, but I think it's okay. Question three, do you use artificial or natural lighting? And well, I use natural lighting, except of course, if I'm inside either the raven or the nest, and it's dark outside, then obviously I will have to put the LED lights. And actually here in the nest, I do have some old fashioned, uh, well, I don't remember the name of it, but old fashioned light bulbs that I can switch on. And I decided to keep them because they do provide a lot of light if it's dark outside and I want to uh, record a video so that's why they are still there and not uh, changed into LED question 4 
what is the top item on your filming wish list in terms of equipment? Well, first of all, and that is something I really do need to get, and that is a better microphone with a better wind muff. You have probably all watched some of my videos where it's windy outside and you can hear the wind and and it's just not it's not good so uh, a better microphone with a better wind muff that is my top wish for sure um, of course I could buy a better camera and all that kind of stuff but uh, that's that's in the future the next question, question five, what is your favorite day of the week to make videos? Well, obviously, I'm working a full-time job during the week, so that would be the weekends where I have days off. Weekends and holidays, because then I have plenty of time to do so. Question six, do you plan your videos? Well, do I plan my videos? that depends some of my videos are planned in advance and and well basically like this one uh, but others like um, just recently I made a video where I took where I went for a walk in the forest and you heard the sounds of the birds and and nature and all and that video was completely improvised it was not planned at all I just woke up opened the door and heard the sounds of nature and I was just like I really need to go for a walk and enjoy this and I want to bring you guys so some of the videos are completely improvised and not planned in advance at all and some of them are planned so it depends question seven how long does it in average take to film a video and again, that depends because some videos, again, are just the situation, and and so I I think it's something between an hour, three hours, yeah, between one and three hours, something like that. Question eight is, how many hours do you spend editing? A video in average and I would say somewhere between two and three hours yeah between two to three hours on, on editing a video yeah that would be uh, that would be it and then question nine favorite type of video to film favorite type of video to film well I really enjoy when I can make a interview and tour video just like I did with my uh, new friend uh, the one with the with the blue adventure van Reno I enjoy making those kind of videos but also because well I enjoy meeting new people and getting to know them so uh, so that's that's really uh, a lot of fun to to make that kind of videos. Also to see what kind of well setup and 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 you know that that fellow travelers have. So they are they are a lot of fun. But I also have to say the the nature videos, you know, uh, going for a walk in nature or stuff like that. I really enjoy that too. So yeah it's it's a it's a difficult question you know a question with several answers i guess number 10 do people at your school slash work know about your channel well my co-workers for sure they know that i'm a youtuber um you know my line of work i'm driving around to all kinds of jobs and sometimes i go to a a shop or a place where we uh, need to do a job and I drive my own car and if we are several people who are going to do a job there they see the the raven with all the stickers and everything you know so yeah of course they know and also 
I guess I told them about it. So, uh, so my co-workers, sure, they know m about my channel. The next question, number 11, is what is what is your process of thinking of a video, uh, a video idea and stuff? And, well, the first thing I do is to write it down because I don't want to forget. So if I get a good, a good idea for a video, then I write it down and and, uh, and then except that is that is those videos that I do think about because some of the videos as I said before they just kind of come out of the situation but the planned videos I write down and then I can go and think about it while I work or whatever I do for yeah several days or, or sometimes weeks before I actually do it so um, so yeah, again, it depends what kind of video it is. The next question, I like this question because it's, it's I think, something that all YouTubers um, know. Do you feel awkward filming in front of other people in public? And I would say the actual filming, that's not a problem. I don't feel awkward about that, but talking to the camera while other people is around and, and oh yeah, <laughs> I for sure feel awkward about that. That is somehow embarrassing and, and awkward and yeah, it's, uh, I still feel kind of strange, but I'm trying to overcome it because, well, Sometimes you just can't avoid it, you know, and sometimes you just need to film a situation or a place or something while there are other people around and you want to s say something, well, you know, but yeah, it's awkward. Number 13. Do you and your YouTube friends plan out filming videos together? And yes, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, well, this summer when we go to the RTM, there will be a lot of YouTubers and I'm sure that we will be uh, collaborating, uh, filming each other and, and stuff like that. So uh, for sure, we are planning to do that. Number 14 is, what is your subscriber goal by the end of the year? Well, I would say, if I had to say a number, I would say a thousand subscribers. Um, but to be completely honest, for me, it's not really important how many subscribers I got. It's more that, how to say, the, the people who watch my videos, if they enjoy my videos and write nice comments and stuff, then it's all worth it. Then. I don't need a lot of subscribers. Obviously, you could say if I get about a thousand subscribers and, and the view hours, I don't remember, then I can become a, a YouTube partner. And But it's not really that important to me. It's, it's not like I expect that I at one point can make a living from YouTube. I don't think that's going to happen. But. I think I got a wonderful group of subscribers who write great comments to me and, and that's that's all I need really. That makes it all worth it. So uh, well just for a number, a thousand. And then the the last question is who do you tag to do this Q and A tag next? And um, well I'll show you. The first one I tag is Adventure with Jane. Mark, who have this channel, is a good friend of mine, and uh, he always comment on my videos, and uh, we kind of communicate over YouTube. So, uh, Adventure with Jane, you are tagged. The next one is a Dutch full-time RVer. His name is uh, My Life to Live. And actually, 
as we speak, as this video is um, recorded and released, he is on his way from Holland to Denmark to visit me. And also we are going to talk about the RTM and all the plans to do with that. So uh, yeah, my life to live, you are tagged. I should say, um, my life to live release two videos every time he release one. One in Dutch language and one in English. So that way he obviously have a lot of Dutch subscribers who uh, watch his channel and then to as a well being friendly he also releases his videos in English which I appreciate very much because I don't understand Dutch. Okay the next one is Adventures with Keith. And Keith is also one of my old subscribers. And uh, he is kind of getting ready to become a full-time RVer. Uh, he has been on some few trips and he's made some, view some few videos. But he's not really there yet. Um, I can see here that he only have 8 subscribers. But, well, guys, he's a very pleasant person and... Uh, I enjoy his videos a lot about nature and stuff so uh, adventure with Keith I tagged you the last one is small home big garden this is a gentleman from Isle of Man who is driving around and actually at the moment he's in Sweden um, driving his uh, motorhome and uh, making interesting videos so uh, and also well as a subscriber to my channel and also a member of the the Facebook group so uh, small home big garden I tag you well that was the Q&A tag for me and uh, I hope you guys I tagged that you will play along and make a video like this and uh, well I hope you guys my subscribers my viewers I hope you enjoyed this video so you guys take care and remember life is good bye bye